All right, now that we got our front end on the vehicle, what we need to do is go ahead and fit our torque boxes down inside the corners of each side. I've already checked these fucking things out. I'm gonna be honest with you, we're working with aftermarket shit here. They're not gonna fucking fit perfect, and you're gonna have to modify a lot of the stuff that you use. Just like our front fenders that we paid 750 bucks for, whatever the fuck those are, we had to basically hammer and dolly the edges to meet the firewall because it was like too fucking short, but we got it taken care of and everything's gonna work out fine. This right here is a torque box. This goes down in the corner down there on each side. This would be our left side torque box. And then of course we got another one that goes on the right side. Now I've already tried to test fit those in there. They don't fucking fit. This section right here is too wide. So we are going to have to trim this up to fit into the car. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. fits right down inside here and what that is that's a support bracket system that gives all this front end uh, a durable strength let me answer my fucking phone so basically what we got here is a brand new torque box that will not fit into our car now the reason I won't fit in the car is because this lip right here is too big. It's too wide right here to fit in between this space. So what we're going to have to do is trim some off. And where we're going to do our trimming is on this side right here. is for a torque box is designed to uh, compensate for all of the weight of the front vehicle and also to compensate for not having a full frame section going into our unibody car. This ties the rocker panel and the framework all together which gives it a stronger durability structure that you will have to make a safe, secure fucking ride down the road. So we're gonna measure between our uh, frame rail and our flow and our rocker panel. And I see that that says 10 and a half, 10 and a half strong. So that'd be about 10 and let's see, what would that be, 5 eighths? We'll come over to our torque box and we'll measure 10 and 5 eighths in this area right here which would be approximately right here and then taking this off should give us the compensation that we need to slide the box into the hole that it goes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape to make sure that I cut a nice straight line and then we'll go ahead and remove all that right there and I just want to let everybody know out there that if you are not replacing all this and all you're doing is replacing these torque boxes you still have to trim these down so there's another tech tip for you from my friend Pete to you
So then, once we trim that down, we should be able to slide our torque box up inside the hole. Now, if you're just replacing the torque box only, you are going to have to cut a notch right here where my hand is running. And the reason for it is for the torque box lip to slide up in there. So, let's see if this fucking thing will go in like it's supposed to. And uh, hopefully, we won't have a lot of fucking problems. So far, so good. I like that. Okay. And we still got a situation right here. There's always a fucking situation. Always. And I see that this lip right here, this lip right here, is going to need a uh, hammer dolly. So basically what we got is this lip is pointing out too far. We need to flatten it down. So I'm going to take my hammer doll, my hammer and my dolly, just like you see here, and I'm going to go ahead and flatten that down. Alright, let's go ahead and try to fit this thing in here and see how it goes in now. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to get a nice snug fit on this. But uh, we're having a situation as we're putting this thing on. So what I'm going to do is get my floor jack and we'll jack it up in there slowly. It's not fucking going on like we want it to. So let's see if we can jack this bitch up in there without moving the car. It looks like it's going to fit pretty fucking nice. Yes, it is. It's going to fit in there just right. And that is how you put your torque box in your fucking car. And now we're going to go ahead and Of course, that torque box ain't fitting right. It's not fucking going in right, and it's not fitting worth a shit. Why isn't it fitting? Bitch. I got a screw right there in the floor. I got, because everything's tacked down, I got a screw right there stopping it from going in all the way. Bullshit, motherfucker, man. Fuck. Aftermarket fucking shit. Okay, we got a situation here that it's not fucking fitting. Why isn't it fitting? Let's go another angle and see what the fuck happens this time. Fucker! Cheap-ass fucking material going on here. It ain't worth a shit. It's just a cheap-ass motherfucker that is built very, very poorly. So, let's go ahead and try it out again. See what we got. Bitch! Shit, motherfucker, man. Won't fucking go all the way up. Fuck! Roll our fucking jack in here and try it again. What the fuck's going on? Now we're literally lifting the car up. We have now fitted our torque box into the car. And it is ready to weld into the car. But we aren't doing any welding yet. And I can tell you this, 
I don't like the way that this fucking thing fits in here. It's just, it's not right. Something is fucked up, and it's just a piece of fucking shit. That's all there is to it. I'm sorry. That's my feelings. That's how I feel about it. It's just a big pile of fucking shit. This lip over here is just too fucking low. That should be up inside the rocker panel area. And it's not fucking going up in there. Not even fucking close. Fucking aftermarket. It's this aftermarket bullshit that sticks it in your ass and makes it where you don't even want to fuck with this shit anymore. Well, we're getting ready to go work on our Mustang again. Uh, last night before we left, we went ahead and worked on our torque box area. And I'm not fucking happy with the way the torque boxes are fitting. Now, the owner supplied these parts and we're going to go ahead and try to use them. I want to do this car as precise as possible and I want everything to fit perfect. The torque boxes, even though we cut the lip off and got them to fit in there, they're still not fitting properly. And what's happening is that they seem to be almost an inch too wide. I got the option here, should I buy other torque boxes and take a chance of them doing the same thing because these fucking aftermarket parts are junk. I don't give a fuck if you buy the best name in the world or you buy the cheapest name in the world. All right? As far as I'm concerned, they probably all come from the same fucking factory out in Taiwan and they just put their name on it. We also ran into another problem and that's the, uh, the frame horn extensions, the floor supports that go under and I'm going to show you those. They, they literally they uh, extend out from the front frame section and then they're underneath the floor. Now those, the owner gave me those and those are too tall. They're about an inch too tall and they don't wrap around the frame section that's built on to the shock tower uh, inner fender section. So they won't fit on there. They're, they're too tall. They're too tall. There's an inch gap and they don't fit properly. So I went ahead and ordered some other ones. I got the other ones. Uh, now these brand new ones, if they're the exact same way, then I'm going to go take them back and get a fucking refund. And then we're going to have to modify those as well to make it all work properly to make the car look right. Now to modify these things, I mean, you know, there's no way out of fucking doing this shit. Modifications got to be done. I don't care what happens. We put the the, the front end, we went ahead and slid it up on there. You saw us do that. Uh, and what happened is that uh, the, the firewall, where the firewall meets the inner fenders, we had a gap. So we had to go ahead and suck that all together with screws. And then, of course, take our hammer and dolly and hammer and dolly it in. And to get it to actually, you know, suck up like a factory situation. But the deal we have is that this is aftermarket fucking shit and you can only do what you can do to do the job the proper way. So, right now we're at the point of should I fuck with the torque boxes now since I gotta modify them anyway or should I move forward and start welding all this fucking shit in? What we gotta do is we gotta get everything prepped up so we can go ahead and bolt our fenders and our hood and the left hand door on. Once that's all done, I think we're going to be ready to start welding and getting it all solidly mounted so we can move forward with our torque boxes. Uh, I just want to get this shit done. It's been a long fucking journey already. I've been working on this shit every fucking day since I started. And it's coming along good. It's coming along really good, but uh, it's just the minor situations, the minor setbacks like our torque boxes that you run into that really depress you on a big major job like this. Let's get out there. Let's get to fucking work because the minutes are counting down. 
and these days of working on this car are growing shorter and shorter because now I'm at the point I want to get it done. So I'm trying to cram all this fucking work in to getting this thing done as fast as possible, but also taking my time and nurturing the situation to do it the fucking right way so the solution in the end is that it is a nice, beautiful car. I'll meet you out in the shop and uh, we'll see where we're at from there. Just want to tell y'all out there, DIY Auto School is the place to be for all you blue collar American son of a bitch and bastards to click on that to subscribe button and do it right. Subscribe now and be a winner in life at DIY Auto School. My friend Pete's going to show you how to do it. My friend Pete is going to take you through step one, two, three, all the way up until the end. Don't let the big let boy the big stick, boy it, in stick your ass. it in your ass. Take it that Take it that bam it. Bam it. Till the son of a bitch won't come, bitch out, won't no come more. out no more. Do it yourself. Auto school's going to teach you how to do it. And be proud of what the hell you do. Subscribe on that little button up there in that corner. And make yourself feel proud that you say, I can do it right. This is Sam Slam, straight out of Miami, and I'm telling you to get her done, and get her done right.